We've got a skincare trend that I want to get your beauty brain on, okay? A cosmetologist reports the latest ingredient in skin hydration is something you didn't expect. It's a snail mucin, which is a protein in snail mucus. It's defined as a thick fluid with a slimy texture that is released when a snail is agitated. Some dermatologists say it's actually good for plumping and hydration. And some formulations contain antioxidants and a bunch of other gunk, and I have it here. And I'm gonna rub it on my face. What are you gonna do? Look, this is snail slime. I actually ordered this. It took forever because they sent it snail mail. <laughs> 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 Stupid. <laughs> but do I have that, like, do you just want to slug me? <laughs> <laughs> How do I look you with look some great. snail mucus on me? Um, I appreciate that when a, sl when a snail gets agitated, yeah. mm -hmm. that that agitation is worth something. Because when I get agitated, nothing good comes out nothing. of it. Nothing. No beauty product comes out of you. Nothing. And I will say, because uh, I have a company, Flower Beauty, I've taken a lot of trips um, to uh, Korea and South Korea where it, it, the, they're the best in innovation. And snails have been on trend there for years. Really? Oh, yeah. Everybody's snailing. Over, over there. Huh. This is this is very well known, but I feel like this is a new part of it, or mm -hmm. they've discovered, you know, again, maybe when it's agitated, it produces something even more useful. Mm -hmm. Kyle, what happens when you get agitated? Um, I, I kind of just shut down and stop talking to people. <laughs> <laughs> but I was thinking, I mean, like, listen, no, no shade on people who use. Snail, mu uh -huh. snail mucin. Snail I, I, I think my wife told me she uses it, so I don't want to. I don't want to talk smack. But if if we're allowed to do this, I'm thinking maybe I should be able to allow to just like throw boogers all over. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> trust me, Kyle. If women thought that it would youthen them or dewy them or mm -hmm. plump them, I guarantee you we'd be boogering okay. up. I'm totally. not kidding. People, Let's booger up, people. Totally. People will stop at nothing for beauty. They're like, if I have to wipe a snail across my face to look younger, guess what? Yeah. I'm doing it. It works. You guys, I just want to say this company, you guys totally snailed it. <laughs> it looks great. great. Kyle, you're the next story. Okay. Next up, uh, Travel and Leisure reports there's one food you should never order on a flight. It's pasta. Why? Why? Yep. Why? Experts say don't eat the pasta at 36,000 feet. Uh, it's going to be mush city. All plain food is reheated in the air, so that double-cooked pasta is going to have the consistency of slop. And secondly, a carbo load on the flight makes your blood sugar spike and then fall, so you might end up a sleepy, cranky baby when you land. <laughs> Wah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think they also said in the article, like, best practice is to pack your own meal. Mm -hmm. I'm, like, yeah. I'm no. just saying, I, I, had, I had a ZD on my flight to New York like a week ago. A so ZD? I, a bake ZD or something on the yeah, flight? Yeah, oh, wow. yeah. Wow, fancy. <laughs> I always order the chicken because I love, and I have good taste, but I love dry chicken, right? <laughs> There's something I get so excited. You know who I am on the plane? Like, I'm always like the tray out, the thing there, like this. Even if they're just serving crackers, I'm like, hi, hi, I'm ready. Can I have the cracker now? I take it so seriously. And I one time switched my loyalty, like I was, I always flew this one airline and then I switched to another one because the new airline had Fresca. And that's why I fly the airline <laughs> to this day. Well, up next, it's a pick from um, Drew's Little Yellow Book. Yes, it has my name in it. Oh, yeah. Today, I'm really excited because Kyle is contributing to the oh. book. So Kyle, what is your Little Yellow Book pick? Well, yeah. So I, I work at I work at Thirty Rock, which is not too far from from where we're at right One now. One of the most famous buildings in the world. And uh, there is a halal cart there uh, at Forty Fourth and Sixth Ave called Royal Grill. I am there at least twice a week. It's one of those food carts where you can get food on the street. It's just a it's like cart a on the truck. street. It's a halal cart, halal truck. Yeah, and uh, I'm there constantly. This is. The only thing I pretty much consistently eat every week. Um, I will say also, I'm, I feel like I'm slightly burying the lead. I do, I have my Royal Grill Halal Food punch no, card. It's so not. funny. I'm, I'm, I am, uh, I'm one away from either a tiki masala, combo over rice, cotti roll, or chicken biryani. And uh, I'm gonna buy my next one and I'm gonna get that free. Oh yeah. my God, I love a man with a punch card. <laughs> Jack, food truck, 
<laughs> well, you, got the, you got the red sauce, the white sauce, the green sauce. What sauce do you do? I, I do all three. They kind oh. of, at this point, they know my order, so I just show up and, and they, uh, they throw it all on Can there. Can you tell me what this order is? What am I eating? You, may, you might have the, the combo, which could be lamb and chicken. Okay. Uh, okay. I, got that I also get the chicken tikka a lot or the mm. chicken over rice. I love tikka. And get some falafel. Uh, the cotty rolls are great. You see, I'm dipping, Drew. I do this. They call me, I like a lot of sauces. They Dip call Matthews. me Matthews? They call me Sauce Matthews. Sauce Matthews. Sauce Matthews, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I like a little bit. The mint sauce is incredible. And then I've heard really popular um, reviews on the cream sauce, which I'm about to uh, have, which is like a creamy garlic sauce. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's incredible. Yes! Yeah, I'm going to get myself a punch card. On the yourself a punch card, go support them. They're awesome. Well, if you want to continue the joy factor, catch, obviously, Kyle on Saturday Night Live. But Saturday Morning All-Star Hits on Netflix is out right now. And I have to tell you, I think that it is so wonderful. It is a combo plate of goodness, and you've done something really fantastic. Thank you.